Hello and welcome to the Maya hand rigging tutorial. In this episode we're going to continue uh, modeling our hand by painting on bone weights. Now this is something we could have done a little bit earlier but I like to uh, wait until after we've created the rig control because it makes things a little bit easier. So to, uh, to show you why this is important, let's start by selecting our root control down there and our finger curl attribute up here and let's just uh, use that by wiggling back and forth by middle clicking the mouse button and dragging it up here and you notice when we move the finger not only are we moving finger number one but over here finger number two this little bit right here is moving a little bit slightly and that's because let's uh, zoom in so you can see that a little bit more clearly see the side of finger number two is sort of deforming as well and we don't want that the reason why it's doing that is Maya thinks that uh, these vertices over here are being at least partially controlled by the bones over here. Um, let me sort of zoom out and select the skin. I'm going to uh, make it so only the skin is selectable here. I'm going to select the skin, go into vertex mode, and just uh, all these little yellow dots are vertices. and way back when we bound the skin by going to skins, uh, find skin, we, I'm not going to click this, but back earlier in the previous episode when we did smooth blind, Maya went through and calculated a bone weight for each one of these vertices. What a bone weight uh, means is how much each one of these bones influences the vertex that is bound to it. So if you um, look at uh, this vertex right here. Uh, it is very close to this bone over here. So when this bone moves, it's going to have a lot of influence on that vertex. Uh, when uh, it's close to this bone here, so when this bone moves, it has a lot of influence on this vertex. But if you look over here, these bones are also kind of close. So when they move, they also have a little bit of influence on those vertices. Uh, that is uh, at least that is the way Maya automatically set it up. That's not what we want. We want it so that uh, these vertices are only influenced by these bones. And uh, that is where painting bone weights are going to come in, uh, where you get to override those automatic values that Maya calculated for you when you first created the mesh. So let's uh, zoom out. Let's go back into object mode. And actually, before we uh, even get any further, I'm going to do something I neglected to do earlier and give these joints proper names. Um, this is just to make it a whole lot easier to recognize uh, what the different joints are and what they do. So I'm going to start off here by clicking, oh, let's uh, do that so we only select parts of the skeleton. So we're going to call this uh, at the very, very lowest joint, the root joint. Call this one the wrist, and you can sort of see the names in the hierarchy changing over here as we rename them. We're going to call that one thumb root, I'm going to call that thumb, uh, let's call that thumb one for thumb first knuckle. Thumb two for the second knuckle, and thumb three, and that's just going to be the tip of the thumb. And let's see, this one is actually let's, let's see uh, that there are names in there. And now we just um, call that uh, hand middle. It's going to call that. Um, one. Let's just call that knuckle. Okay, let's call that uh, finger one. Uh, one for the first joint. For the second joint and finger one three for the tip. And you can uh, come up with whatever name you want. I'm just uh, picking something that's uh, easy to understand. Uh, finger, uh, I just call that finger. Yeah, finger two. Um, two knuckle. Finger two. Uh, one for the 
first joint. Finger to uh, to the second joint. And finger three uh, to three the tip. And one more time for the baby finger. Uh, finger three. Uh, knuckle. Finger three. Um, one for the first joint. Finger three to the second joint. And oh, and uh, look down here. We uh, we've got to um, name that one. So let's call that. Um, uh, and let's call that wrist outside because that is actually let's, let's call that because we call that thumb root let's call that uh, baby finger root just so that it has a sort of similar name and let's see, and we named everything except, and we, we did not name the uh, tip. So let's just finish that off. Finger three, three. Okay, this is uh, just to make it a whole lot easier to identify which bone is which just by giving it an easy to understand name. Okay, uh, now that we've done that, it's going to make painting the uh, bone widths a lot easier. So let's. Um, Go back to selecting meshes. Let's uh, select the mesh and let us get rid of uh, the outliner there. And okay, now if we look on our shelves here, we have uh, we have our animation <coughs> shelf selected, and we can click on the uh, paint weights tool over here. You can also do that by going up to skin. Uh, edit smooth skin and paint weights tool and clicking there. And oops. Okay, we're going to uh, start painting with the skin weights tool. Uh, the, might have noticed a bit of a pause there. Uh, uh, anyway, um, character uh, skin, uh, edit smooth skin, paint with skin weights tool. Now I had a little bit of a problem here because after I renamed the uh, joints, uh, when I started this, it didn't work uh, immediately. So I had to uh, take a few seconds just to figure out why it was not working properly. But uh, anyway, if you remember from the color uh, painting tutorial, if you press and hold the letter B and then uh, drag the mouse, click and drag your mouse, then you can change the size of the uh, paintbrush here. And we're going to make that something nice and small so that it fits our model well. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the uh, tools, uh, tool settings window by pressing that. And here is the tool settings window for uh, the paint weights. Now see right now there's a big white glow at the bottom of our model there. And that is showing you the weights uh, that the root bone has uh, is, influence, is influencing. This shows you the root uh, joint has a great deal of influence on these uh, vertices right at the bottom of the model here, but not very much influence on everything else. If we select the wrist, you see that the wrist has a lot of influence on these uh, vertices in the middle, a little bit up here, uh, not so much at the very bottom, not so much in the fingers. Now what we're going to do is uh, zoom in on that finger that was uh, we were having problems with. And uh, the problem was that uh, this bone was pulling these vertices down. So let us pick on that, uh, that was finger one, uh, right about there. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. Let's uh, take a look at some of these others. Don't actually see a whole lot of influence there, at least not visually. But uh, let us uh, click on the control. Just uh, get out of the uh, paint mode there. Click on the control. Let's uh, finger curl that down so that that becomes a whole lot more obvious. Okay, and let's go back into, going to right click and go to P2. 
paint skin weights tool and we are going to click on the um, this. It's going to click on the actually finger. Okay, we are going to remove that influence by uh, painting away the weight, uh, the influence of that bone on that finger. So we're going to do that by coming down here. And if you look at our value, right now we're painting uh, with white, which means we're going to add weights. We want to do the opposite of that. We want to take the weight away. So we're going to put that all the way down to zero so that we're painting in black. And even though it isn't very easy to see it, there is a very faint, uh, very, very faint gray here uh, that indicates that uh, these bones have some influence on these vertices. So we're going to start off, we've selected the finger 1, 2 bone, which is that uh, blue one right there. And now we're going to paint with black uh, on the edge here. And I'm not seeing much influence there. Let's try, let's move all the way up to the knuckle. So we're now we're, that's the influence of that bone on this finger. And let's uh, try painting with black now. Ah, see, that's better. So what we're doing by painting with black, we're removing the influence of that bone. And I'm gonna keep on doing that until that stops moving around. Good. All right. So let me just okay, and just with the finger uh, knuckle one there. We're now we're talking about uh, that bone there. Let's just do some more painting. Just okay. There's no influence there. So it was just a very tip bone that was causing problems. But now if we uh, go back and select our control and we wiggle our finger back and forth. Now see we can move that finger without uh, any influence, any negative influence on the side of that finger at all. And uh, we can keep on going around uh, updating the weights on our model. Uh, you don't just have to paint with black, you can also um, paint with white to uh, encourage an influence. Uh, in which case you put that value up to uh, 1 to start painting. So if we really wanted to um, you know, attach the uh, baby finger to the that particular bone, we could start painting with white. And that would start pulling things way out of the line. We don't want to do that. I'm going to press Ctrl Z. That was just sort of an example. But uh, we can then go uh, through the rest of our model, alternately painting with black to remove influence or white to increase influence until we're happy that uh, each and every one of these vertices has the appropriate amount of weight for each and every one of the bones that are underneath the skin.